Responsibility. Okay? Kaya kailangan, pag gusto mo maging leader, dapat tinawag ka ng Lord. Okay? Command responsibility. And the Lord God commanded the man, you are free to eat from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of, the, of good and evil, for when you eat of it, you will surely die. Fast forward to chapter 3. Okay? Starting from verse 1 all the way to verse 6, there was the temptation. Di ba? Alam po natin yun. Di ba? Uh, the evil one was tempting Eve. Mm -hmm. Finally, what happened? Eve succumbed to the temptation and ate whatever fruit that is. Di ba? Okay. And then after that, she gave some to Adam. So, sino yung unang kumain? Eve. Sino yung tinim? Eve. Sino yung bumagsak? Eve. Hindi. Una muna. Sino yung bumagsak? Una. Si Eve. Pero pag tinignan po ninyo yung chapter 3, hindi siya ibang tinawag. Ang lalaki. Where are you? God called to the man. Where are you? Why? Because when God commanded the man, si Eve, hindi pa tao. Eve was not yet made. E ano? Chapter 2, verses 16 and 17. Si Eve, ginawa verse 22. Sa lalaki, sinabi yung command. So while chapter 3, verse 1 to verse 6 was going on, the temptation was going on, and, 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 and he was being tempted, Adam was there. Nanonood ng Pacquiao. <laughs> nakalimutan, nakalimutan yung responsibility niya sa kanyang asawa. Ayun. Why? Because leadership is command responsibility. Hindi naman yung babae yung binigyan ng command, yung lalaki. This is why sa buhay natin ganyan, from Adam until now, inuuna ng demonyo yung lalaki. Gustong guluhin yung lalaki. Bakit? Kasi yung binhi galing sa atin. Reset ako lang yung babae. Tingnan mo yung mga arcade. Sinong nandun? Babae, lalaki? Mga, mga video arcade. Sinong nandun? Hmm. <coughs> Hindi pa nga marunong bumili ng pantalon eh. Diba? Pag bumili ng pantalon, kita pa yung puwet eh. So, paano ba? Paano ba? Eh kung yung pantalon, hindi mo kayang... Isutong maayos. Isutong maayos. Paano mo aayusin yung buhay mo? Diba? Eh, eh kung yung video games, you can navigate through the video games, you cannot even navigate through your life. Kaya lalaki noong una. Bakit? Eh sa lalaki ngayon, command responsibility. Kaya tayo mga Pilipino, eh, nako, wala, hindi tayo biblical eh. Bakit? Eh sa Pilipinas kasi, we're matriarchal. We're a matriarchal society. Kaya ang Pilipino lalaki, pag tinanong mo, sasabihin ng lalaki, tanong ko muna kay Commander. <laughs> Ito ho, sinong binigyan ng command? Ang lalaki. So sa mata ng Diyos, ang commander yung lalaki. Oh yeah, the head, the head. Mamimiloso po yung mga babae. Oh yes, the, the man is the head, but the woman is the neck. The third the head. <laughs> Bumalik na kayo sa biology. Bumalik, balikan nyo yung anatomy. Hmm. Ang ulo ho, buto. Di ba? Ang neck, muscle. So kung saan lilingon yung buto, kasama yung neck. Okay, huwag na tayong mamiloso po. Wala yan sa Biblia eh. <laughs> Di ba? Bakit? Kasi ang binigyan ng command yung lalaki. Amen. Punta kaya tayo sa relationships, husband and wife. Eh? Kasi marami, marami kung hindi nakakaalam. Sa simbahan, ay... Mm. Ang binigyan ng command yung lalaki. Ang problema, if, if man doesn't doesn't do his responsibility, the woman will always take charge. Why? Because that's part of the judgment. When God said to, uh, to Eve, your desire will be for your husband, and then you know, what do you mean by desire? Oh, magnanasa kasi yung asawa. You sexually, physically, sabi ko, tingnan nyo nga yung chapter 4. Same word. In the light of Cain. If you do what is right, magandang takbo naman, but if you do 
what is wrong, sin crouches at your door, it desires to have you, same word, but you must master it. Anong context? Nung sinabi ng Diyos sa babae, your desire will be for your husband, inherit sa lahat ng babae is the tendency to dominate. It's the tendency to master. Why? Because that is a judgment and a warning to the man. Okay? When the man doesn't do his job as the responsible person, okay, the woman will take charge. That's either a warning to because if he doesn't do, the woman will take charge. And when the woman takes charge, that's a judgment on the man that he didn't do his job. Si, nandito lahat eh. Na yung kalooban, nakasulat na. Implementa lang dito. Parang sa ganun, hindi gumulo. Bakit magulo pamilya? Eh kasi, kung ano nung pinaggagawa natin, God is a God of order. If you mess up the order, your life will be out of order. Simple lang. Di ba? Kaya tigil-tigilan na natin, tanong ko i-commander. What? <laughs> Kasi sa mata ng hindi mo sa, Lord, tanong ko i-commander. <laughs> Mabatukan pa tayo. <laughs> this is why, eh, no, folks, listen, this, this is why, okay. In churches today, sino ang nagsisilbi na mas marami? Lalaki yung babae? Mm. Bakit? Kasi walang ginagawa na lang. <laughs> ah, bakit yun eh? I'm just saying, I'm just telling the truth. Amen. Why? Eh, sa Garden of Eden, tapos, chapter 3 pala ng Genesis, kung na yun, tapos na yun, eh, settled na yun, eh. Pag hindi ginawa ng lalaki yung responsibility niya, ang gagawa, babae. Amen. Ngayon, alam niyo na, ha? Amen. Sige, close in prayer na lang tayo. Amen. Okay, next. Okay. Adam was the first leader. Okay, next slide. Okay. They hid from the Lord among the trees of the garden, but the Lord called to the man. Ooh, bakit hindi si Eve? <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> Nawala ka sa tamang kalagyan. Eh, kasi Lord, sabi ni Commander, and then the <laughs> Kasi ganun na nangyari. Eh, kasi Lord, si ganito eh. Diba? Nagturuan sila. But the first person God called was not the woman. It's the man. Next slide. You receive a command responsibility. It is by divine appointment. Notice ang sabi ni St. Paul sa Acts 20 verse 28. Keep watch, first of all, over yourselves. Bakit? Ikaw nga yung leader eh. Diba? People do what people see. Diba? Keep watch over yourselves and all the flock of which the Holy Spirit has made you. Okay? So hopefully you just didn't volunteer. Hopefully the Holy Spirit made you a leader, overseers, the shepherds of the church of God, which He bought with His own blood. So, do pa lang, dapat ang point of reference, eh, teka muna, Lord, napakalaking responsibility pala nito. Bakit? Eh, kasi binayaran mo ito, eh. Napakamahal ng pambayad mo. Tapos ganito lang ang gagawin ko. Patay. <laughs> Alam mo nyo yun? Si ganun mo yung implication. That's the implication. Next slide. A personal accountability. Obey your leaders. Okay, ito naman sa church. Obey your leaders and submit to their authority. They keep watch over you as men who must give an account. Obey them so that their work, okay, and, uh, obey them so that, ano yan so that? Ano yung kasunod? Purpose. So what is the purpose of obeying your leaders? Is so that their work will be a joy, not a burden, for that would be of, no, uh, that would be of, Dapat no. Wala na dapat hindi. That would be of no advantage to you. Sino yung you? Yung church. Okay? So, parang yung kwento na <laughs> eh, yung pastor eh talagang nag-meeting yung mga board of elders at sila, oh, you know, nag mga visitation ng si pastor. Bigyan na natin ng kotse. Sabi niya, hindi, bisikleta na lang. <laughs> <laughs> nanayig yung bisikleta so binigyan yung pobre pastor ng bisikleta eto na yun chairman of the chairman of the deacons madaling araw tumawag pastor nag-aaway kami ng mag-asawa please come 
Pagkaunsilan mo naman kami. <laughs> Sabi ng pastor, eh, eh, brother, nasa piskataway kayo eh, layo niya. <laughs> Bisikleta lang yung binigyan niya sa akin. <laughs> Ay, nako. Diyos ko po. That would be of no advantage to you. Wawalakihin natin ang pastor natin. Ay, ang balik niya sa atin. No, really. <laughs> you should understand how God works, how He operates, how the kingdom of God operates. You should understand it. Nakasulat na, ho. <laughs> Next slide. We have different gifts according to the grace given us. If it is leadership, let him govern diligently. Yes. Romans chapter 6, verse 6a and 8c. Next slide. Oh, ito ang principle. Basahin natin lahat. Principle. Leaders need to lead or govern diligently. Why? Because they will have to give an account to God. Okay? May accounting. Okay, last slide. Okay, na. Bakit? Bakit? Lessons in leadership. Number one, God created humans to lead. Remember? 126, Genesis, let them rule. God created humans to lead and rule, but it is best only within the context of His leadership. So, tayo sumusunod sa Kanya. Bakit? Eh, alam niya. Number two, leaders must learn to adjust their plans while holding tenaciously to the vision. Okay? Hindi yung, komo may vision ka, ay talagang pinagpipilitan. Hindi. Kasi you are leading. You have to be willing to adjust. Okay? Dapat, you, you have to be willing to tweak. Kasi hindi lahat yan, eh, pareho kayo ng personalidad. Number three, everyone leads and someone follows. Number four, no one can lead well without following well. Hindi ka sumusunod ng tama sa Panginoon, ay eh, huwag mo na asahan na may susunod din ng tama sa iyo. Number five, individuals must see the benefits of the vision before they will commit to follow it. This is why importante kapag ikaw ay may leader ka, dapat may vision ka. Where there is no vision, People perish. Wala, wala nangyayari. Walang vision eh. Dapat may vision ka. Kaya tayo, importante na kung leader ka, your followers must have a cause to follow. Okay, number six. To win trust, leaders must exhibit both character 